I meet Frank? Uh, yeah. Wow. I met Frank probably about eight years ago. Uh, I got a call. It's kind of a funny story, actually. It was like, I know, my name's Frank Amali, and I thought somebody was playing a joke on me. Uh, I need you to play tomorrow night for me. Uh, my bass player can't make it. Uh, and uh, I said, okay, yeah, who is this? You know, that kind of thing. And it ended up being Frank. So, you know, so uh, uh, Alfonso Johnson was playing with him at the time, and he couldn't make the gig. And um, so Frank, uh, you know, ran over some music to me that night. And, or maybe I picked it up at his house, I can't remember. And then uh, I played the next night. And uh, it was a little high pressure. You know, thank God I can read music because if I couldn't read music, I don't know if I would have pulled that one off. But it was it was a fun gig, and and uh, we've been playing ever since. You know, it's been a really nice uh, uh, relationship. He's a really good friend of mine, and I love playing with Frank. Frank's he's a legend. I mean, he's uh, really a, a great improviser and a, and a great guitar player and a great writer. So uh, he's definitely uh, inspiring to me. I've been on tour the last uh, year with Bill Evans. Bill Evans is a sax player. I uh, used to play with Miles Davis. Um, he plays in Steps Ahead now. He, uh, you know, Michael Brecker's sick, so he's taken over uh, Michael's chair on a lot of different gigs. And uh, uh, it's a great band. You've got a great drummer, Joel Rosenblatt, and Ryan Cavanaugh on, on banjo, who's a phenomenal banjo player. And we have a violin player that's a, a genius as well, uh, Christian House. So I've been doing that, and um, uh, been, I just finished playing uh, all the bass for a TV show called um, Without a Trace. It's on CBS. So whenever you hear any bass, that's me. And um, a little bit of everything. You know, I played on Dave Weckl's record recently, if you pick that up. And um, been just kind of really busy finishing my record. And um, also uh, just played on uh, Brett Garsid and TJ Helmerich's uh, Uncle Moe's CD. Played on one cut. I think Gary Willis is on most of the record, and they asked me to play on one cut. And Dennis Chambers is on. It's a really good record. So I've been busy. Ah, Chick's great. It's just, uh, you know, it's funny. With I mean, if you ask me one thing, I learned with all these. Everybody teaches me something, and uh, and that's why I do these gigs. It's, it's for me. It's sort of like uh, it's like winning a scholarship to some musical university and you're getting paid to learn you know to play with these guys and learn stuff and uh, and I and I approach it that way I mean I'm, I'm like trying to really learn stuff but I remember Chick the one thing that really changed my life he told me was it's just a, such a simple thing keep your eyes open and it sounds like a simple thing to do if you but if you're playing all the time and you're not keeping your eyes open it takes a long time to get out of that but it took me about three or four gigs to do it and um it sounds like a simple thing, but uh, you know, you, you get the body language from people. You can tell when people aren't comfortable when they are. So, uh, you know, Chick's definitely a, a mentor, and uh, you know, he taught me a lot of different things. And that's the one thing that stood out more than anything. Right now, I mean, the electric band is uh, kind of taking a little hiatus. Chick's uh, concentrating on Mozart's birthday this year. He's doing a lot of classical stuff. Uh, he's doing a lot of acoustic things, and uh, you know. Chick's the king, you know, right now he's, he's doing his acoustic thing and hopefully the electric thing will, will start up again sometime.